Hey there guys, welcome back to the Let's Do Something in Mountain Blade guide. This is for um, how to build your own kingdom at this point. Now, there are a couple things you want to know before starting your own kingdom. One, which is, what is my right to rule? So if you look at your character report, you'll see my right to rule is eh, six. Not really great, but, you know, for the purpose of this this thing you you want to have that to be at least about 50 before you leave but it'll take a long time playing through the game because you're gonna go through a lot of wars back and forth um the wars you're gonna go through will probably be at least seven or eight because you need to be able to negotiate a piece or or the like anyway so let's assume i have 50. let's go ahead and say we want to leave so we say hey what's up king I want to be released from my oath. Yes, my lord. <laughs> and he's super pissed at me. But then again, I pissed him off last time because I went and tried to start some shit with the Rodox. Anywho, so you're going to want to have uh, all of your characters uh, and a decent army. Honestly, I'd rather have probably about 150 or more. And you want to look and do this at a time that's pretty advantageous. And when I mean pretty advantageous, I mean, uh, if you were to say, look for a faction that's getting a three, like has three armies coming at it, or is at war with three factions, they won't have the resources to to handle um, having a castle go, go missing, basically. And that's what we're really shooting for, is just trying to get a castle. So what you wanna do is you wanna go through and go to the notes Press faction and just take a look around. We'll see. Oh, Salt and Serenite. Salt and Serenite. Salt Wait, let's check the Salt and Serenite. They're getting attacked right now by three different factions, right? They, they're spread out all over the place. This is in control T for cheats. And you can see that they have very limited resources, very small parties. Uh, right now, the... You can see that the Kargites are in there, just wrecking face. Uh, oh, jeez. Look at that. Oh, man. They are trying to take, currently trying to take Nara, which probably could happen, but they're getting their asses kicked pretty good. Um, so it's a good, and look at that, they have all that just sitting right there waiting, just waiting. So this is a great time to take a castle. Now what I suggest is you want to take a castle that's far away from one of their bigger cities, like Shiraz is where the big guy is, uh, and, and kind of, but close enough to another faction city so you can actually just go back and forth and sell. So Halmer is not bad, so this is the one I'd choose, which is right there, Jamayed Castle. Uh, the problem I have right now is I just don't have enough troops in order to take it. So give me a moment, and I'm going to go get some troops. And uh, don't worry, a little magic. Okay, so I just went through to check to see my troops. I'm actually maxed out at 81. Uh, so I was thinking this castle might be a good plan, but there's so many uh, of, the, of these guys kind of rolling through here all the time. <sighs> Might not be a good idea. So let's see what else we have to play with. We could do this one. Sharwa Castle. That's not a bad one. Uh, lots of uh, car gets around. It's kind of on the outskirts a bit. I think this might be a better shot. So let's just go give this a shot and see what we can do. So obviously this guy's going to patrol. I want him to get... Because if we can get him out of there... I only have a hundred, have 180 something to go against, and I only have 81, and I do have quite a bit of knights and a decent amount of crossbowmen. So, let's see what we can do. Because normally what you do is you would uh, dump off your cavalry, bring a ton of archers, and take a castle. But we don't have that yet because we don't have a freaking castle. Um, so that could be a bad thing. But let's let's give this a shot. The worst thing can happen is I lose everything. Request a meeting with somebody. I wish to ask you something. Shit, I need to start a battle with these people. 
All right, let's see if I can maybe get him out. If I can get him out of his castle, then I have a shot at this. Because if he's stuck in it, up oh, there he is. All right, let's see if I can get him and it's not night, because I would prefer. There we go. Okay. There you go. Let's play. I lose you, demands. Yes, yeah, suffer or die. Prepare to fight. Oh God, worst. Hold on. Hold this position. This is horrible. The only thing I can do is hope that my crossbowman will hit a lot of his dudes. Okay, cavalry. Movement orders. Fall back 10 paces. Just trying to get them out of the way. Right, where are they? There they are. We're way over there. God dang, what are you guys doing? Frickin' mount horses. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that's it. Let's just charge it out. What the hell? They're just gonna sit there. What we need to do as uh, members, team leaders here, is we need to do our best to kind of knock them down. This is why I always recommend the leader should have a bow and arrow at all times. It is the fastest way of dealing with this. Okay, here we go. Let's see, am I even close? Nah, this get in there a bit. There we go. Dropped one. Damn, I thought I got that man Luke right in the... guess I didn't. Alright, so this isn't too bad. Definitely taking care of the noble who owns that castle is a huge step. There we go, the ball of death still works. Damn, I hit him too. Shit, I should get at least partial credit for that. I mean, come on, I hit him for 18. <sighs> I keep forgetting this guy just doesn't have very strong bow skills. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so let's go on back over here. I gained right to rule. We're gonna besiege this castle. Ah, oh, shit, it's a... Ah, oh, it's a siege tower castle, that's not good. That means by the time they actually get over here, yeah, we're gonna get... fucked. Oh god. Okay, the Vrainian Belt. Okay, lead your soldiers in an assault. Great. All 
Right, these are the worst. Ow. They want to waste any. Oh, I hit somebody. Ooh, headshot. Oh, it's hitting that guy in the shield. All right, you can pick up arrows from the guys that are shooting. Again, this one might take, this video might take a little while just because well, that's the nature of it. But, I mean, that's what we gotta do. Okay. Jeez. Really shooting a lot in there. Can replenish all of our arrows though. That's not too bad. Yeah. A little high. All right. Uh, well, at least we can have Lisette rejoin us now. <laughs> but if we lose half of our team, I think that'll be that'll be acceptable. Ah. There we go, we're getting closer. Golly. I finally feel useful. There's all kind of Jareds. Oop, that's not good. Boom. Every one of those guys you take out, you save your troops a ton. Ah. Jesus, that guy must be getting his freaking head just like whiskers. Boom, headshot. Boom. And 
being the noble guy I am, I will elect to stay out here. And attempt my best. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a lot more archers on this side. That's awesome. Okay. Because if I go down, like, they go down completely, so that's not really a good plan. There it is. There we go. Trying to clean out those sides, man. You really don't want to have your dudes getting pelted by the sides. Especially when they're up on this. Dear Lord, that guy took so many hits. Hmm. Yeah, my guys are pushing in nice now. I got 13 shots left. There you go. See, so you want to get rid of that kind of crap. So we lost a pretty good amount. I want to hire everybody I could possibly get my freaking hands on. Take whatever is of use because you're going to want to sell it all because you're going to need food pretty bad pretty quick. Hell yeah. I will say... Mm, maybe Rolf. He's pretty bad. Manage the garrison. This is where we get to shine. We actually get to dump off a whole bunch of troops. That would otherwise be garbage. Okay. And there you go. Get that started. You can wait here. And that's the beginning of our new empire. People are not going to like it, but that's okay. Uh, again, you're going to be... You have a choice of chilling, but I would suggest trying as fast as you can to get that thing up as big as possible because there are going to be a lot of people coming to eat your butt cheeks real quick. <laughs> oh, man, we need a lot more than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay so anyway uh like comment subscribe you guys i know this is kind of a, a wish bang about how to be like a king in mountain blade but and how to build your first kingdom but it it can be this kind of difficult because of the siege tower or it can be easier depending on what you get but uh, make sure you put a lot of time into right to rule and also make sure you got a lot of dough so i got a shitload of dough 
So you're going to need it because you're going to need to basically be financing a big army as fast as possible. Uh, so anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.